Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 6 of this SS Kaiser Wilhelm de Grossa tutorial. And I'll tell you what, that name is a real mouthful, and trying to say that every time was a real pain. Anyway, on to uh, what we're going to do today. For part 6 we're going to focus on the ship's forecastle, which is basically this large open chasm here, where a deck should be. Uh, focus on the deck layout of that, and then the details. And then if we get time afterwards, we'll probably do uh, the four funnel placements and some other stuff along the way. But uh, anyway, the main focus is this part today. So what we're going to do is begin the deck, which is, is confusing to build because it goes outwards, longwards, and also goes downwards. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the front section of it. So we've got the seven, it should be seven uh, white blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two uh, quartz blocks. So you should have that layout there, and the rest of it should all be wood. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to build on the on the uh, on the right hand side here, and but it's going to be the same on both sides. Okay, so whatever I do here, do the same on the other side. So what we're going to do is go to the first wood block at the front of the ship, or the wood slab, sorry, and then increase that to three wide, like so. And then what we're going to do is build so, uh, build the side parts, which are three. So one, two, three, like that. And then we want seven, but as we go along seven, we need to go down one as well. So we go seven, which is one two and then underneath and then we go three four five six seven and then after that we want eight one two three underneath four five six seven eight then an eight again one two three four five six seven eight so remember we gotta go underneath there and then lastly or well not lastly but you need twelve afterwards so one two three four five Underneath six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then twelve again. One, two, three, four. Underneath five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then after that you should have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll make it 8, it should be 9 I think, but 8, but never mind. What I do, I just go back and check those rows of 12, because we've got one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's fine, so it's, it could be 8, but if it's 9 or 8, it doesn't matter which, so if it's 9 or 8, don't worry. Okay, so that's one side done there, I'll do the other side may as well. So I do the same this side. So from that row of three wide, we go three back. One, two, three. And then we want seven. So one, two, and then underneath. Th and then three, four, five, six, seven. And then we want eight. One, two, three. Underneath. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight again. One, two, three, four. Underneath. Five, six, seven, eight. And then 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, underneath, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 12 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, underneath, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 8, or 9, whichever, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, there we go. So there's those two lines there like that. Now what you want to do is basically build from the center line all the way out to the sides, keeping the contours of the of the whole shape itself. So uh, it's basically use the slabs and just get where, where the where the the line of the the deck drops. You just build outwards to the the deck on the outside. So I just build the first line as you can see where the deck drops. It should all be in line uh, all the way across. Like so. so you just do the wood from the center out to the sides of these sections we just built and with the slabs it is a real pain in the ass to do but we'll get there eventually so that's the first few sections, you can see the, the, the slope of the deck so if we carry on doing this, it will take time for me to do this, but I'm just going to make sure I do it all by hand. And then it should all line up. That's a theory anyway, I mean, nothing ever goes right. And next row down. Oh, 
and we're at the end there so there we go up to the end and there we go so that's one side you do the same the other side as well but once you get the uh, the deck filled in it should look something like that you can see the uh, the deck is sloping up with the slabs and it don't look too bad at the moment anyway so what I'll do I'll quickly copy that to the other side I used copy paste to do it and then both sides should be done so it should all look fine so bear with me while I just do this and apologies for taking so long but anyway there we go copy and then flip to the right and then paste and there we go that's both sides done filled in and it does look weird from all angles I mean you know it's how that is but uh, it should all look fine I'll try to get in as many angles as we can but uh, it don't look too bad right so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I work out what to do next I've got it written all down but I just want to do a couple of test runs first so uh, back in a moment okay back again so what we're going to do now is fill in the rest of the of the uh, foc'sle we're going to use white slabs for this one so it's going to be another pain in the ass job to do but we're going to go from the front of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, <laughs> of the foc'sle uh, and we're going to use slabs so we're going to use halfway down the, the top block and just fill in the rest with all slabs all the way around the side of the wood all the way down to the to the, um, the back wall there and it's going to follow the same contours as the wood we just filled in so you get, wherever the wood drops down you, you drop down the uh, blocks as well uh, the, the white so, so, so you go like this all the way along and uh, it should all look fine when it's done and there will be some changes to come on afterwards as well but we'll just do the first uh, first few sections like this and like I say, it should all look fine when it's all done. I'll try and do as much as I can freehand to give you an idea of what the hell I'm trying to uh, uh, trying to prove here. So there's the first sort of section there. So you can see we've got alongside the top line of blocks there. Just add slabs halfway down that, and then you carry on following the contours of the deck all the way back. And because slabs are such a pain in the ass to do, you've got to be quite delicate in how you place them. Well, not delicate as such, but you know, just you've got to aim the right place because otherwise they sort of a end up in the wrong position. But uh, you get the idea. So there we are. There's another deck. It's level down. So we do the next level down. And like I say, trying to get these lined up is a real pain in the backside. And like I say, just keep doing this as much as far back as we can. So there's another deck level done. So the next level down. And you sort of understand why I've not done shears in the past, but uh, you get the idea eventually when it's all uh, in place. This, the shear does give the ship a better look in terms of uh, well, how it did in real life, but there we go. And here we have another section down. But uh, yeah, the real ships in the time did have a shear. And it used to do a centre of gravity and uh, where water goes when it gets on board. Um, but, uh, other than that, modern ships don't have the shear though, but that, uh, that's no big deal. I don't build modern ships, so there we go. So where are we? We're right at the end now, so here's the last slab to go on. Or the last loads of slabs, sorry. And there we go. That's that section done there. So you can see they've got the white down the side there like that. You do the same on the other side, but I'll do that in a minute because a bit more of a change to come up. So what I'm going to do now is go back to that line of seven blocks at the front here. So this, side, this line of seven quartz blocks, not slabs, but blocks. And what we're going to do is double up the slabs along the sides now. So what we're going to do, we're going to need, from the end of the, of the last block, we're going to build two, like that, on the top. So slabs two, like that. And then we want five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want uh, three. One, two, three, like so. And then, uh, trying to think what we want now. Uh, that's fine. Uh, then we go a bit further along. And basically... So we leave those two rows. So we've got the. I'll just double re recap this. So we go from the end there, we go two, and then five, and then three. And then you miss the next four and four there. You go down to the next row, and we add one, two, three, four there. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. Miss the next two rows because they're on that middle section there. And then we add uh, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it, really, because. Uh, that's how she looks. It's real confusing how it's done, but uh, we'll just recap again. So from the end of the seven with slabs, we had two, and then five, and then three, 
and then you go down to the next level and mi miss the next two rows and then on the next drop down you add four and then five then down to the next drop down and miss the next two rows next drop down add six and then five and then again that's it you don't need to go to the next drop downs because they're all filled in already so the basis the basics for that is because that's where the handrails are going to sit if I just go back to the center again or back to the front this is where the handrails will go so I put the handrails on these blocks here like so and when we get to the next drop down we'll add the handrails there the reason for this is because the handrails don't sit on half blocks if I put a half block there the handrails will not sit on top they just float in midair so that's the reason why I've done the design like that so just add the handrails all the way along these sections now and it should all look fine when it's done. Like I said it's really confusing when we're trying to do this and explain it but I'll show you when it's done it will look alright so I'll just add the handrails all the way down to the back wall like so and it should look something like that. Like I said it's not, not pretty, not brilliant, not beautiful but it's a thing nonetheless. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump, well not a jump cut, but I'm going to do a quick copy paste to get both sides out of the way and then every, uh, both sides should be fine so I'll just go back to the front end again up to that point there and we'll do the copy and then the flip and then the paste <laughs> and there we go that's both sides done nearly so I'm just going to fill in this last section here which didn't copy and there we go that's that section there and I'm just trying to think so we go back to the uh, well anyway that's both sides done I'll just come back to that section in a minute but that's both sides done it should look something like that so that's the folks all filled in and if we go to the back to the front here we can fill in the first sort of by the side the blocks here we can put slabs in one two three four there and then one two three there same the other side one two three four and one two three there like so and that's that section filled in and it doesn't look too bad I mean, it's not brilliant it's not perfect but it's a thing nonetheless. So that's the folks all filled in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another jump cut. I want to work out what to do next. And then uh, we'll move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is fill in the details of the folks all. Um, it's going to be quite difficult to do because we're not on even ground. So uh, before we do that, I'm going to go back to the front wall of the superstructure. Uh, back down here to so the bottom part of it. We're going to add the first few doors and windows to this area first. So we're going to get our doors, which are here. And we we'll need our windows as well. And what I'm going to do on the front wall here, just add the first few windows and doors. So window, window across here. So I'm using this as a sort of delay tactic before I move on to that. So window, window there, and then a window, window, or a window there, window there, and then a door there. Not done a very good layout of that, so I'll change that. Put a window there and a window there. And a central point there. So there we are. So window, 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 door. Do the same on the other side. Window there. And then a window, window, and then a door. There. So there we are. There's the uh, front wall done there. All right, so what we're going to do now is go to the center point of this front wall. And we're going to leave a five block gap, so one, two, three, four, five block gap forward. And on the sixth block, we're going to build our first cargo hatch. So it's going to be seven wide, so center block plus three either side, like that. So that's facing forward there. And then the sides are eight, or, or up to the point of the wall there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. And do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then what we want to do is using uh, stairs, we've got our quartz stairs, uh, like so. And we put stairs on the top of the walls there like that, on the sides. There's one there and one across the other side there. Like that. And then the back wall, we'll just make that straight. And on the inside, we'll just add another, another line of blocks on the inside of the stairs like that. Because there's going to be two, two stair blocks high like so and then we'll add another line of stairs on top of those blocks there like so it's so sort of a pyramid shaped thing really it's a cargo hatch that's sort of uh, pyramid -y shaped and then we just add the roof and there we go there's the first cargo hatch like that like I said it's, it's more of a building than a, a cargo hatch but it's there nonetheless <laughs> 
and I keep saying that I do apologize so what we're gonna do now is go on to the very back end of the forecastle now so now we're on to the proper deck proper forecastle and on the first wood block on the center so I've got the uh, very back end of the forecastle center block here and the last wood block and we're gonna build the mast the mast is 22 high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then behind that we want 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 15 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. See so, about well, there's our mast. And then th four down from the top, one, two, three, four, build out three, one, two, three, same the other side, one, two, three, and then six down from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, build out uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and there we are, there's our two spurs like that, and we go back down to the bottom of the mast, and we're going to go to the fourth block up, so one, two, three, four on the sides, and we're going to build the two crane arms uh, 24 blocks forward so four up from the bottom and then on the side 24 forward so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four then we do this <coughs> the same thing on the other side it's actually the same length like so and then if you're familiar with what I normally do is you cut the ends off and put a black block in there like so just for a added design and there we go there's the uh, two forward spurs there and then what we're going to do is go two blocks above that so where, where it connects to the mast go two blocks above and what we're going to do is build a uh, three back one two three like so and then we go up ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then ten again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like so and at the end again put a black block there so we do the same on the other side three back one two three and then up ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and put a black block in there there we go there's our mast and it should look something like that there will be a crow's nest to go on later on but I can't be bothered to do that now so uh, that's our forward mast all right <coughs> so what we're going to do now is either side of the mast Roughly, if we go say one, two, three blocks forward of the mast, and then one, two, three out, we need to build a couple of vents. These are in yellow as well, and these are seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six high, and then add the sunflower, which will make it seven high. Like so. <coughs> <It's> like so. <coughs> and then we can double up the back as well to make it slightly chunkier. And there we go, so that's seven high in total there. Same on the other side. So what was it? It was one, two, three, and then one, two, three out, wasn't it? Uh, yep, so it's the same again. So six high uh, initially. So two, three, four, five, six, plus the sunflower, like so. And then double up at the back, like so. Now, kind of pointless putting these two vents here because these two vent uh, mast things were actually meant to swing out, <laughs> but with these two things here, that's not going to happen. But no big deal. No one's really going to care. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go to the back to the mast, back to the base of the mast, and we're going to build a skylight, which is uh, sixth block forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to build the skylight five wide so center block plus two that side two that side so that's five wide and then the sides are eight i believe so one two three four five six seven eight same the other side if i can get there one two three four five six seven eight and then join them together across the back and then these are going to be two blocks high so you've got the initial bottom bit there and then for the second row we're going to add stairs around the top like so uh, yeah, add stairs all the way around, really, if we want to. So add stairs all the way around, like so. And then what we can do is add the middle sections because of the mast things are in the way. It's a bit awkward, but uh, we can add beams across now. So add a beam there, sort of like a rib cage, basically, like so, for a skylight. And then 
add the glass. So three beams in the middle and then add the glass like so. And there we are, there's our skylight there. No, it don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is go to the front wall of that uh, skylight. Now we're on the upper, not on another section of the hull of the deck here, so it may be a bit difficult to do. But uh, we're going to build a couple of windlasses, and we're going to go three blocks forward of the front of the skylight. So one, two, three, and then three out. One, two, three. We'll put. Uh, we're going to cut a hole in the deck. So build, cut, cut a four-block hole in the deck like so. Same the other side. So one, two, three out, and then cut a four-block hole like so. And then use quartz blocks in the gap, like so. And then on top of those, we'll use railway track to uh, add the design on the top, like so. There we are, that's that section there. And then we go back to the skylight, and then we're going to count five blocks forward. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add the mech thing, which is the thing that ties all the rigging together. So we're going to put, uh, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to cut a hole in the deck first. Actually, I'm going to work out how to do this, actually, because I don't really know what to do. Um, actually, what we'll do, we'll use wood slabs, we'll put uh, three centre like so. So that's, that, how many blocks is that? Six, five blocks forward, sorry. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add three slabs, for, three slabs wide, and then one, two, three forward. And then one out to the side, like so. So basically, it's a giant eye shape, or from the side, an H shape. Like so you can't really see it because of the bloody things are in the way. But there we go. And then on top of that, we'll add the mech, which is three, and then three, and then one, uh, one, two, two in the middle, like so. So it's sort of like a mech shape like that. But and that's usually what attaches the rigging to everything. It's sort of a, a pulley, giant pulley sort of thing. And that's that there. It's, it's really awkward to do because of the level of the, uh, the, the the deck itself, but no big deal. And then what we want to do is go one block forward of that, or two blocks forward, sorry, and then we'll cut a hole again. And then we're going to add a vent, which is six blocks high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one block forward. So we're going to add a, a, a normal vent for that one. So six high plus one forward, and it should look something like that. <laughs> Right, so that's that. Um, and then what we want to do now is go one block forward of that. So one block forward, or two blocks forward, sorry. And then we're going to add the break water, uh, which is going to be five wide. So center block plus two either side, like so. And then double that in height, like that. And then either side, you're going to want to add two. So two uh, out to the side and then one back. So you add two like so. And then after that, you're going to want to add singles going diagonally out to the side of the ship. Now it's going to be a bit awkward here because of the uh, because of the shape of the deck. So I'll add uh, blocks. Yeah, just do it like that. So you go uh, five five wide, two blocks high. And then you add the two here and then add slabs on top. Slab on top, slab on top. And then the next row, just a single block on top of a slab. And then the next two is just two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs. Out to the side like that, and that is the breakwater design, like so. So what I'll do I'll do the other side, and I'll try and do it, explain it better. So you've got the five wide there, then you want the two there plus slabs on top, and then you want a block uh, plus a slab on top, and then the next one you want a block plus a slab on top, and then the next one is a slab <laughs> with a block on top. And then the rest is just two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, all the way out to the side like so. And that is the breakwater. That basically just channels the water from the forecastle out to the side over the over the side of the ship. If you ever you know if you ever hit a big wave, so that's the uh, breakwater done there. And then what we're going to do now is go back to the front of the of the uh, breakwater. <coughs> Pardon me. And what we're going to do is one block forward of the breakwater, or two blocks forward, and then uh, two out to the side, one, two. We're going to add another windlass, so windlass there. Same the other side, one, uh, two forward and two out, add another windlass there. Plus the railway track on the top for the spinner. And there we go. And then what we want to do now is to add a crane. 
So we go back to the we'll go back to the breakwater and go four forward. So one, two, three, four. And then in yellow, we're going to add a crane, which is seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a block back, uh, block, uh, yeah, a block back like so, so for a counterweight. And then for the arm, we go third block up. We're going to add five, uh, five rows of three forward. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's five rows of three forward like that for the crane arm. <laughs> And then I've just changed my notes here because I've got it all written down. <sighs> I'm getting really tired of this already. And then what we want to do then is go two blocks forward, no, three blocks forward of the crane. So one, two, three onto the next row here. And then uh, what we're going to do is dig a channel. Or do we? You know, dig a channel. So we want to go uh, back to the crane. So one, two, three, forward, and then one to the side. I'm going to dig 13 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And do the same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then fill in with quartz blocks, like so. Like that, and there we are, there's our two quartz blocks lines like that. And then what we want then is to get our anvils. And these will represent the anchor chains. Now these are not positioned very well, and they don't really look like chains, but we just put them in on top like such. So 13 anvils on each line like so, to represent the chains. And uh, it won't look too bad. I'm trying to think what some what do some people use. Uh, if we just experiment with this a bit, let's just get rid of a line here a second. I remember someone using stone stairs. Let's just get find the stairs a second. Where are they? There we are, stone block stairs. I think what they've done, they put a stair that way and then a stair that way. And then, like that. Oh, that represents, yeah, it sort of represents the chain links. That actually looks better. So if I do that instead, that sort of, that looks a bit better. So if I do that all the way along, like so, and then, like so. And then we've got proper chain links, it actually looks much better. So if I do that this, this side as well. So apologies for taking my time, I'm just experimenting. So you want half going one direction, half going the other direction. Like so. And uh, it actually don't look too bad. So you got, uh, it does look a bit like chain links, but uh, not perfect. And... Uh, yeah, that'll do. So that's the chain links done. And then I'm just trying to work out what to do now. So on the front... Why, oh yeah, so we'll go back to the... Um, uh, hang on, bear with me on this one. Uh, yeah, so if we go back... To, go, go all the way forward now to the white slabs on the front here. So these two white slabs here. And on the front one, which is that one there, I've just destroyed. We're going to re uh, replace that with a crane. So re remove that, vent, uh, that slab that was there. And replace that with a crane, which is six high in yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one back on the top. And then the arm is seven lo blocks long. So three up from the bottom, and we add seven forward or seven back. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. And that is that little detail done there. And we can start adding the black blocks as well to the crane arm. Black block there, and one up here on that arm there. And that's the crane arms there. And then uh, we can start adding the bollards. So I've got the, the anvils. <laughs> Let's look over there to get an idea of what to do. Now the anvil bollard things are going to be placed at random because I don't really know. Uh, I've, well, I've not written down where they go. So I put a, just put a pair, three pairs along the side, uh, roughly anywhere really. So two there, two there, and then two more further down. And there we go. Oh, hang on, a bit further back. There, like so. So you've got the three pairs of anvils there. I do the same the other side. So we do the same this side. Two there, and then two a bit further down, there and there, and then two a bit further down as well. So there and there. And there we go. There's our three pairs of bollards there, and it don't look too bad. And then last job for the moment, we're going to go back to the figurehead, which isn't really a figurehead, but it's just a bit of gold along the front of the ship. We're going to add uh, 
two high there on the tip, plus two high again. And then we're going to add a row of three on the side, one, two, three, and then double that, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two. So you design it like that. So it's two, two high, and then three, two high, three, one high, two, one high. So do the same on the other side. So go one, two, three, double that in height, and then one, two, three, and then one, two. And that is our sort of gold figurehead, if you like. It's not, not anything specific, but it's there, like that. And uh, that should finish off the detailing for the forecastle. And uh, I think we could leave it at that. i just go over to the prototype and double check to see if I've missed anything. So there's no, no handrails to go on the, on the forecastle at all uh, around the edge, so that is fine. Um, so it doesn't look too bad. But I think what we can do is, is link up all the black sections of the of the hull now, because oh bloody hell, phone ringing. Bear with me. Um, so yeah, what, we're gonna, what I was going to do is link up all the black sections of the hull. Cause you got to, the black sections are not linked at all at the top. What I mean is, here there's the uh, white block. So if I put black block there, you can see that it links up the black block there. Same there. It's like I did with the stern, with the handrails on top. There's no handrails to go on here, but I just want to link up all these sections here. It's not something you have to do, but it's just something that. Uh, in my eyes looks a bit better so I'll just do the first I'll do them all may as well so like I say it's nothing that's really necessary it just makes it look a little bit better in my eyes down to there one more and that will do so that's that side I just quickly do this side so I'm just wasting time sorry so block there block there block there and there and there as well <clears throat> and I think that will do. So that's the uh, folks are all done. I'm not doing no more with it. That's uh, that's sort of uncharted ground, really. And so that is that. So we've got the stern done yesterday. Folks all done today. And in my eyes, it doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now uh, is go back to the uh, front wall of the main superstructure down here and what we're going to do is just add some handrails along the front wall. So we'll get our handrails again which are here and just go add some handrails uh, across the front wall of the lower deck. So just do this here. It's something I was meant to do before but I never got around to it. Like so. And there we go, that's that little job done there. And what else can we do? Uh, not really sure, because uh, I don't really want to do it anymore. Um, there's two more vents to go on the top. So up to the next deck, which is up here, there's two vents which should go up here. So if I just look over the prototype, you can just see them there, just below the bridge, where the crosshairs are. Uh, there's a pair of vents there. So what they do, this where you've got the handrails here, you should remove one there and one there, and put the vent on here. So build the vent about three high so two three uh, make it four high and then one forward one two three four one forward like that so you got two vents there like that they're probably a bit too close together so if you want to space them out you can so I think that's what I might do uh, replace the handrails there and what we'll do we'll go back to the next block along like so and then do the same again so one two three four up one forward one, two, three, four, one forward, and there we go. There's two hand, uh, two vents there like that. It's all about trial and error at the moment today. I'm not uh, doing anything very well, and it's all going tits up. But there we go. I think what we can do. Last job for today, I think. I'm not going to do no more. Just add a few windows along the front wall here, around to the overhangs on the side. So I just get our glass again, and we do what we do. We put two windows on the front here, and then a window on the side. And then a window on the side there. So I do the same on the other side. Window there. And then a window there like so. And that is all I'm going to do. Because this folks was a real pain in the ass to do. And I uh, apologise if I did say I was going to do other things. But uh, I don't want to now. <laughs> so that's all, all that detail done there. So the ship is taking shape. We've got a mast on place anyway. And uh, like I say, still plenty more to go on. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do too more, too much now. Uh, part four, not part four, part seven, which will be the next part. I will do the funnels. Get the funnels out of the way in part seven, as well as the middle deck house, which will be a middle 
uh, sort of docking bridge or lookout and then we can start all the smaller details as well uh, but that, like I said that'll be for part 7 so uh, we'll, we'll uh, leave it till then but uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to call it a day now and uh, so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing and I shall return in part 7 so uh, bye for now